Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. We are back with some more of the Forever Lock Challenge here today with more Pokemon Shield. I hope everyone is having a fantastic, fantastic um, uh, Monday today, right? Monday? <laughs> I had to double check. <laughs> uh, yes. Hello everybody, welcome. Good to see so many folks already in the chat uh, saying hello. Slothman is here, Star, Dynic Gaming, Arcanine, Janita, Sachi, Oak, Mabel, and uh, Laura are all here. Uh, welcome, thanks for coming in. Um, but yeah, so on this lovely, on this lovely Monday, um, I, it's actually really funny. I, um, <laughs> I was worried about not getting enough sleep last night because, um, I, uh, I, I took a nap yesterday and it was sort of like this, it, it was basically like, dang, I'm going to have such a hard time sleeping tonight. Well, um, surprise, surprise, not only did I get enough sleep, I actually woefully overslept. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to bed at like a really decent bedtime last night and then um, I was supposed to wake up at 9 this morning and um, I overslept like past my alarm. Uh, I actually didn't wake up until my get ready for stream alarm um, at 12.30. <laughs> so that's exciting stuff. Um, kind of awkward, but hey, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Clearly I needed the sleep, so I'm into it. But yeah, so I only woke up like a few minutes ago, so bear with me if I'm a little bit on the on the sleepy side here. Uh, but yeah, good to see so many folks. I'm glad that you. <laughs> it seems like y'all really enjoyed the, the the goofy, goofy humming from the previous stream of of like trying to figure out songs based on like me humming them. I'm I'm glad y'all had fun with that because uh, yeah, I've heard a lot of people have been talking about it. That's that's nice. <laughs> Um, Slothman says it's funny how we just associate the song with something entirely removed from its original context because we see them together, uh, more than the original. I know, yeah, that's what people tell me about the, about Verbank City, uh, these days. The Verbank, Verbank City theme is, is, is officially my theme, just because I've been, I've been using it since, like, the start, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's very good stuff. Um, Argonus says I just got back from running. Ooh, very nice. Hope you had a good run. Hopefully, hopefully you got, got a nice, a nice brisk, uh, brisk pace and, uh, and, and what, what's the phrase? Like, uh. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I hope you had a good run. Um, but yeah, very good stuff. Uh, but yeah, so um, picking up where we left off, I did go ahead and change out of our Isle of Armor clothes, sort of. I kind of just kept parts of it. I don't know, it looks fine. <laughs> it looks fine. I'm not going super crazy on character customization this time. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Hey, Soul, welcome in. Um, but yeah, so the squad's sitting pretty. Nothing, no major changes. The team's been pretty consistent so far, so I haven't had to worry too terribly much uh, this playthrough. Um, but, uh, with two badges in hand, and we snagged our cub food at the Isle of Armor yesterday, so that's all taken care of. Um, uh, next up on the agenda is for us to head over, we gotta go through the, uh, uh Galar Mine number two. Um, and then from there, make our way back to Modosto. Even though you do have access to fly, it does force you to go through that, that path for some reason. I, I don't quite get it, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so we're gonna do just that. Just head on through. I don't think we need to worry about any encounters or anything like that. So yeah, we'll just we'll just uh, schmoove right on through. It looks like we have a Bade fight coming up here too, so that's exciting. Oh yes, and 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 um, uh, Sachi has answered today's question of the day. Uh, in honor of the previous stream, uh, I went ahead and made the the question of the day <laughs> uh, related. This is that uh, what is your favorite Pokemon song to hum? <laughs> So yeah, I figured I figured y'all would enjoy that after uh, after after enjoying all the humming in the previous stream. Um, Sashi says uh, Pokemon Center heal sound in black and white too. Ooh, very nice. Uh, I always think back to it whenever I get uh, got Poker is shiny hunting outside Roxy's gym. When I hunt, uh, I or when I hum the little melody, I just get happy. And with that said, lyric. Oh, yeah, have a good lyric. Have a good lyric, uh, Sashi. <laughs> Um, but yes, very good, very good. Yeah, the do 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 do. Yeah, that's it's classic. It's classic. <laughs> uh, Arcanine says Holberry. I don't know what about it. It just speaks to my soul. Holberry is a good song. It, that's the. It's like the. Ba -da -da, ba -da 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 -da. That's I mean we just heard it on 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 the on screen, so yeah. <laughs> that helps that definitely helps me remember it when I heard it like just a couple seconds ago. <laughs> Alright, let's get him. But uh yeah, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. 
My answer probably is, as, li as lame as it is, it probably is just Verbank. I love Verbank. Like, even after having had it as my standby screen music for, like, forever now, um, Verbank is still my favorite Pokemon song. <laughs> it's it's still absolutely my favorite uh, song in the whole in the whole series. Ooh, I gotta be a little more careful there. Good lord. Here, let me let me heal up a little. Let's see. Gaming says I don't really hum uh, along uh, to most of the Pokemon music, but if I had to pick, I would have to say Little Root from Ruby Sapphire Emerald Oil Aureus. Yeah, very good, very good. Little Root's great. Little Root is great. I would say it's probably like the coziest uh, starting Pokemon Town, in my opinion. Voice says, uh, question of the day, uh, Petty's theme for the battle. Yeah, the battle theme. Yeah, it is It is quite good. You know what's actually interesting? I didn't like it at first. I thought it was like a little too much at first. But on revisit, like the, the more I've heard it, it's one of those songs that's kind of grown on me over time. So yeah, I can appreciate that. Okay, let's go into Double Decker. Oh, he wants me to sheet music for Little Root. That's fun. That's fun. I love it. I love it. Arcanine says, speaking of bangers, this theme. I know, yeah, Bane's theme is so good. It's definitely up there for me. Is it my favorite from Sword and Shield? It's definitely way up there. I think it might be. I think it's my favorite from Sword and Shield. It is a great track. Got a nice hectic energy. Uh, Star says, as much as I uh, love other songs more, the gym leader uh, Terastalize is just uh, fun to hum along to. Like the oh, like 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 when it transitions in the gym fight in Scarlet and Violet. I don't remember how that goes. I can't remember how it goes right now, but <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I I know it's I know it's I remember it being good, pretty decent. Although I remember I remember it not being as good as uh, Sword and Shield's gym music IMO, but that's just me. Um, let's see. Let's go with Pain. Also, Hop's final theme. Oh, yeah, Hop's theme is good. I love Hop's theme. Hop is good. I assume you meant mean in his, like, like, final match in, like, the Pokemon League, uh, like, qualification or whatever. But, yeah, very good. Very good. Wait, are you a fairy yet? Um, shit, I don't know if it's Smoto Psychic or if it's very psychic. Well, we gonna find out, I guess. Uh, earthquake. <laughs> Ooh, tiny Super Aqua is here. Welcome. Says for question. This is Wally Steve. Ooh, yeah, Wally Steve is really good. It's really short, but like, it's like not like a problem if that makes sense. It's like it's short, but it's like so like catchy that it's like kind of it's. I'm like fine with it. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I assume you mean the ORS ORS battle theme. Um, which yeah, I think that's the only music he has. So I don't. Does he? Does he have? I guess he has like an overworld theme that plays in Oras as well. But I assume you mean the battle theme. That that would be my guess. Uh, Star says I couldn't remember how the Sword and Shield uh, version of the song went. Um, it's it. Oh God, how does it go? You think you think I, ju I just heard it the other day? <laughs> so you think I you think I would remember? But um, it's like uh. I mean, it has like the crowd and stuff like that. I, I know that it has it has like the crowd and the. No, I can't. I, but I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hum stuff today, chat. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. My uh, my brain is too. I'm all sleepy again because of my weird sleeping sleeping in today. So yeah, it's problematic. It's problematic. <laughs> I can't do it. Not today. Not today. I'll try that. I'll try whenever y'all ask, if y'all ask. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Bade taken care of, no problem. Arcanine says Sword and Shield have the best soundtrack of any Pokemon game. Ooh, that is that that is. A, I don't know if that's a hot take or, or or what. It might be though. It might be. It's definitely controversial, if nothing else, because there's a lot of good music in Pokemon, especially a lot of the earlier game. I feel like I feel like the vast majority of people would say that the earlier games have a superior soundtrack, but. I don't know. I'm not saying that's necessarily true. I'm just saying that a lot of people probably feel that way. Yeah, I don't know. Sword and Shield's music is good. It is good, for sure. Is it the best? I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm not sure. Loris has a question today. I love humming the Gym Leader's theme in Oras. Uh, oh, God. The Gym Leader's theme. The Gym Leader's theme. Oh, my God. My brain. My brain. I'm so upset. 
I'm so upset between this and the previous stream. I just can't freaking remember Pokemon music, even though I love Pokemon music. There's like no reason for me to not remember. But this doesn't work out very well for me. Um, let's go to. Ooh, let's go back out to Pain. Uh, yeah, how's the freaking uh, gym music in in Orasco? And 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 by proxy the original. What's the melody? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Uh, uh, I can't think of it. I can't think of it. I'll, I'll keep thinking on it. <laughs> I will figure it out. Uh, God damn it. Uh, Mabel says, uh, Gen 5 Pokemon Center. Me and my uh, sister always hummed it when I played. Well, at least that one's, like, easy to remember. Because it's always the same song. It's just remixed with, like, different sound fonts. So, like, do, 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 Yay. Remember that one, at least. Okay, beautiful. Uh, uproar. Nah, we're good. We're good. Uh, Julia says, what's up with Galarian waiting for the fairy typing? Like, I lost Pokedoku because of Galarian Ponyta. I know, it's frustrating. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they do that. They just, like, give it the, the typing later. And yeah, Galarian, po Galarian Ponyta looks like a fairy type. So it's like, what do you want me to What do you want from me? <laughs> what is it about Galarian Rapidash that makes it not a fairy? Or, or about Galarian Rapidash that makes it a fairy versus Rap uh, Ponyta, which is not. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> uh, Tiny Super Aqua says the battle theme is cool. Zinnia's theme is nice too. Yeah, Zinnia's theme is fun. Zinnia's theme is fun. I like it. I like it. I got. I played uh, Del's episode in my own, in my own free time not too long ago, and yeah, I was I was I was vibing to it. I was vibing to it for sure. Very nice. Uh, Lars says Wally's encounter and battle themes have the same melody, actually, so it's uh, uh, humming would be the same. Oh, okay. That's, 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 that's like. Da 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 and then it loops. <laughs> that's that's what I meant when I said it's a little short. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I remembered one. I'm proud of myself. Yeah, very good stuff. Very good stuff. Aw, silly kitty, silly kitty, silly little Leia. Very nice, Sarkanine. <laughs> okay, get the eerie spell. Uh, Janita says for question day says Twin Leaf Town music is great. Yeah, Twin Leaf, Twin Leaf is good. I, didn't I didn't I hum that one in the previous stream? That's Twin Leaf, right? I'm like second guessing myself again. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to let me know. Did I get it right? That sounds right. I think that's it. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Another another trainer down. Let me grab this. Beautiful. Nice try, Stunfisk. <laughs> uh, Tiny Subarak says, Galarian Ponyta, uh, main thing is healing he healing poison, so being a fairy would make it weak to the thing that it was meant to remove. Oh, interesting. That's the logic, huh? Interesting, interesting. <laughs> you missed me humming Twin Leaf last stream? Oh, no. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I was humming lots of stuff last stream. I was, I was humming lots of stuff. And also, like, r like weirdly forgetting a lot of tracks that I'm, like, low-key obsessed with in the series. So, yeah. I'm, I'm very disappointed in myself for not being able to remember a lot of these on the on the spot. But it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know. Like, do, do y'all agree? It's, like, sometimes, like, music. Sometimes music can be tricky if, you like, you haven't heard it recently. Or, like, if you haven't, um... I don't know, like, if you haven't heard it recently, or if you have, like, other music that's, like, currently in your head, like, even if it's something that you love, even if it's, like, one of your favorite songs ever, it just, like, doesn't materialize when you try and, like, think of it, like, in, in like, hindsight, like, in, in retrospect, you know what I mean? I hope I'm not alone in that, because it feels, like, really embarrassing. Uh, okay, get him with the body, s oh, okay, no, 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 hold on. Body slam, there we go. <laughs> I can do this. Get the feeble. I 
Remember when Snarl was like a super exclusive, limited time move that only Zoroark got? Remember that in, in Gen 5? Now a random ass Feeble has it. Uh, Janita says, I can never remember music unless I recently heard it. Well, that, that makes me feel slightly better <laughs> that I'm not the only one. I can remember a good amount of music, but, like, it just kind of, it's, um, I feel like it's, it's one of those things that's just, like, yeah, that, like, yeah, there's, exactly, Star, there's, like, pr a certain pressure since I'm, like, doing it in front of people, but then also just, I don't know, like, some songs, like, they just live in my head forever, and then others, it's, like, oh, yeah, like, I, I, you know, I won't remember it unless it's, like, you know what, um, I, I, what I will say, like, in recent memory, sorry, Hop Lulu, not my, not my Nuzlocke, though, <laughs> um, the song that's been from Pokemon that I will I, I don't know if will ever leave my brain because it's been permanently stuck in my head ever since I first heard it. It's relatively recent. Uh, let me let me see if y'all can guess what it is just based on me doing it. You probably will because it's I feel like it's really really um, I don't know if iconic is the right word, but they use it a lot and it's it's like really really well done. Let's see if y'all can y'all can figure out what it is based on me humming it. It's that. Uh, Let's see, can y'all figure that one out? It's been stuck in my head for like two years now. <laughs> it like permanently lives in my brain. <laughs> yeah, it's the Terra theme. Yeah, it is. It is. It is the Terra theme. <laughs> Yep, well done, well done, Arcanine, well done. <laughs> oh yeah, y'all y'all couldn't place it. Oh well I guess I spoiled it. I spoiled it, but Arcanine got it right. Yeah, it is the Terra theme. It uh it, it, it lives in my brain. It's also just kinda like the general Paldea theme, I feel like, because it's remixed into um it's remixed into the Sada Turo theme. It's remixed into a lot of other places as well. Um, so yeah, it's, um, I don't know, it just lives in my brain. Oh, okay, Pancham kind of scares me. Hold on. Let me swap to, um, let's swap to Double Decker. I can probably fight with Double Decker. Yeah, very good, very good. Area Zero is really good music as well, Tiny Super Aqua. Um, can I remember how Area Zero goes off the spot? Um, oh wait, hold on. But no, that's the Turo theme, isn't it? No, hold on. How does the fucking Area Zero theme go? God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Sometimes it's hard. Oh, okay, no, that's the one with... It has, like, the chanting. It has, like, the chanting. Um, bup. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's it. That's the overworld. Area Zero, right? I'm not crazy. I think I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, it has, but it's, that was kind of hard to hum because it has like, like, it's like mostly chanting. <laughs> you start singing opera, exactly. <laughs> yep, it's true. It's true. Uh, Star says my other favorite tunes are Cubulus Town uh, and Verdant Turfs. Yes, very good. I don't. I think we try tried to remember Verdant Turfs yesterday. I don't know if I remembered it or not. But Cubulus, Cubulus is easy. That one's stuck in my head forever. That's... I, that's a fun song. It's very, it's very wholesome sounding song. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like it. Hey, okay, get the pay champ. Trying to remember Verdant Turf now. Can't think of it though. Can't think of it. <laughs> I know it's good. Did I did I say uh, did I do that one yesterday? Success or yesterday? The previous stream star? I can't remember. <laughs> Oh, you may have you may have clapped at the appropriate time. They're very nice, Star. Very nice. Got the got the rhythm. Got the rhythm going. <laughs> Yay! All right, we crushing Team Yell. No problems here. Playthrough's going going pretty well so far. I have to say, we haven't had any uh, no casualties. We've been keeping levels pretty pretty consistently, which is nice. 
Hopefully we can keep it up. I don't want to jinx anything. Let's fight, fight this guy over here. May as well. May as well. Um, let's see. Let's put... A now, friend. Patty Super Aqua says, I can only remember battle themes. I feel like they get stuck... They definitely get stuck in your head more often than, than like, overworld themes. There's... It, it, it depends for me. It, it very much depends. Um, because cer certain... Certain overworld themes I listen to, like, far more often, like, in my own free time. Um, but yeah, I agree. Battle themes are usually the bangers. More often than not... Okay, Pain cannot fight a drill bear. Uh, let's go to... Oh, man, I don't really have great coverage for ground, do I? I have the, the grass type, but it's just baby monkey. I guess I'll go with the slow queen. I guess technically slow, slow queen is weak to ground, but it does have water pulls, so. Uh, Arcanine says, I love how uh, my clothing style and music tastes have barely ha have barely anything in common. Oh, oh really? Interesting. <laughs> I would never have guessed. You know what's I, you know what I think is really interesting. Uh, it's actually it has to do with like Pokemon, but it also kind of has to do with like general video game music. Um, I find that my my taste for like now don't, don't don't take this the wrong way, but like my taste for quote unquote actual music, right? That's to say like music that's performed by like bands or like artists or whatever. Um, I find that my my taste for that kind of music is very specific. Like, I only like specific genres. Um, but when it comes to video game music, I love, like, every genre when it comes to video game music. Like, if it's, like, well-performed and it, like, fits the theming of, like, what's going on in the game. Um, I, 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 like, even genres that I, I can't stand in, in um, uh, like, like, actual, like, pop music or whatever... Um, I, I find that I actually, like, really, really enjoy it. Like, I could listen to fucking, like, S like Sonic Adventure 2 rap. Like, Knuckles rap music. Like, I could listen to that all day, even though I can't stand, like, IRL rap. <laughs> it's just, like, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I'll skip Pluck. So, yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's weird. There's something about, about, like, I think it's all about, like, framing, right? Like, about the way that it, like, um, it, like, applies to, um the context of what's going on in the game, right? It's like, I can listen to, like, jazz or, like, you know, classical music or, or, or whatever, even though I wouldn't usually listen to, like, those those genres uh, in my free time. But I would listen to... I listen to them because, like, I don't know, it fits really well with, um, with, uh, with, 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 with what's going on in the in the context of the game, so I don't know, it, and that just makes me like it to like to listen to it even outside of the context of the game, which is I don't know, it's interesting. <laughs> Am I the only one? <laughs> does that does that make sense to anybody else? Hopefully it does. Uh, Tiny Super Aqua says uh, Vocaloid and, and game OST. Ooh yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. I don't really listen to a whole lot of Vocaloid, although I have a, a little bit here and there, and it is pretty. It is pretty good for what it's worth. I actually, uh, it, it helps that vo Vocaloid music kind of like falls into like you know one of the few genres that I do listen to, like from like mainstream music, um, like like as far as genres go. So like even though I'm not familiar with it in the context of Vocaloid, I am. I I can enjoy like a a you know semi-techno-ish, you know, boppy vibe kind of thing. So it wor it works out. It works out well. <laughs> uh, Thero says, can you do Dearly Beloved from Kingdom Hearts? Dearly I don't, which one's Dearly Beloved? It's been a while since I did anything with Kingdom Hearts, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, is that the, is that, is that the, the song from the second game? Cause that's not, they're simple and clean. That's the first one. So Dearly Beloved has to be the, that has to be the second game, right? Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm embarrassing myself. I, I hope Jackie's not here. I know Jackie's a big Kingdom Hearts fan. <laughs> SBS is here. Says for question says, believe it or not, uh, the theme of Violet City. Violet City. Oh, interesting. Uh, sometimes the bike theme from Red and Blue as well. Yeah. Oh, Violet City, huh? Oh god, can I remember Violet City off offhand? Oh, I don't know if I can. Um, oh, I'm so I'm sorry, SBS. I don't know if I can remember it. I don't know if I can remember it offhand. But that's a really cool pick. I I love that because it's like it shows that you're probably a big Johto fan. I imagine. Uh, which yeah, I like that. I like that. 
Uh, Star says, I get I don't really like the tech, uh, techno all that much, but I put the Battle Network music uh, uh, all the time. Yeah, yeah, see, it's like contextual. It's like contextual. Even if you don't like techno, if you like the, a game that has techno music, you might like the music just because of the association. Um, yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, Thoreau says, no, I'm saying I can... Oh, okay, I see. I see. You're, I, 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 I'm picking up what you're putting down, Thoreau. But yeah, very cool. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Well, I'm glad I'm, glad, I'm glad I'm not the only one who feels that way. But now I'm actually genuinely wondering which one is Dearly Beloved. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. I know the name. I recognize the name offhand. But I don't remember how it goes. Wait, wait, which is the... Which is the one that's like... Dun, da, 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 dun, What's that one? What's that song? Is that just like the normal theme song? Is that it? Wait, did I get it right? Is that Dearly Beloved? Yeah, it's like the main menu music. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Did I get it right? <laughs> is that one Dearly Beloved or is it a different song? I don't know. <laughs> let me know. Let me know. I'm curious. I'm curious if I actually got it right or not. Okay, very good. You remember it? You remember it as dearly beloved? Okay, cool. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to go go online and confirm um, later on, <laughs> like after stream or something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I know. I hope I'm not annoying the shit out of people with all this humming, but I don't know. I'm having fun with this these last couple streams, so I'm just gonna rock out with it. I'm sure it's probably very annoying to some people, but what you gonna do? I'm glad, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Thoreau. <laughs> okay, Swoobat. Swoobat. Um, we stay in. Pokemon has a good pull, pull me music. Yeah, I agree, Star. Yeah, fantastic. Probably some of the best OSTs in, in all, of, all of gaming. Let's be real. Let's be real. Oh, you know what? Um, actually, so here, here's an interesting one. A, a song that I, that is a banger no matter how you look at it. Um, but it is it is from a series that I am not super familiar with, that I've like barely touched. And I certainly haven't touched the game that, that this song is from. Um, but yeah, let's see let's see if anybody gets it offhand. I, I know it offhand as well because I listen to it all the time. Uh, the opening is kind of intense, though. Bum, 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 bum. Bum bum ba da 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 ba da 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 bum 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 ba 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 Yeah, SBS got it. SBS got it. Yep. I've never played Final Fantasy VII, but goddamn, that song is iconic, legendary, amazing. Holy shit, I love that song so much. I could listen to it over and over again. <laughs> Yay! Hopefully, I did it justice. Yeah, I love, I love it, I love it. That shit is amazing. Uh, I guess I'm not that damaged. All right, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, Sephiroth. Ba 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 ba. Sephiroth. Ba 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 ba. Ah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. That's uh, that's why uh, if, if y'all remember from a while back when we were um. I did. I did a, a stream where I was uh, rewatching all of the Super Smash Brothers uh, character reveals um, in order of like my like you know the ones that I was like okay with versus like basically in order of like how much I was like excited about the trailer basically uh, and yeah it's, that's why Sephiroth was like second to last uh, or, uh, that we watched because it's like uh, the only one the only one that beats is the Mega Man trailer the Mega Man trailer was like god tier. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Sephiroth was like way up there because, uh, because it was like, god damn, like even though I'm not a Final Fantasy VII fan, um, not that I dislike it, I just haven't played it. Um, but yeah, like even though I've never played it, it's just like I could tell like how important and like iconic he is, so it's just like, damn, this fucking rules. <laughs> so yeah, Sephiroth, Sephiroth, very good, very good. We love Sephiroth here. Alrighty. Yeah, there we go. Knocked out all those trainers. We can make our way back into Motostoke finally. And pick up sparkly things on the ground. Very nice. 
Very nice. Give me all them feathers. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Good lord. Okay, there we are. Back to Moto Stoke. Uh, Thoros has for question today. It says gold, silver, crystal all day, every day, every town, and my and my favorite national park. Oh yeah, uh, national park is nice. That's like do 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 I'm not pulling that at all. I know that's Jodo. I know for sure that that's Jodo, but I guess I should verify if that is or is not uh, National Park. I'm pretty sure that's it, though. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't fuck it up. Forgot that it makes us go to the end again. Oh, yeah, that's right. We fight Marnie as well. Okay, cool. Hi, Marnie. And her dress is really cute. I'm challenging lids, right? Out giving it all, y'all all this, even this late, huh? Also, also, it's interesting. They have a um, they have a dynamic time moment in in this part of the game. It's like after after we beat uh, Nessa, I guess, because it's nighttime even though it's 1 p.m. Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Uh, Tiny Super Aqua says, "I forgot how cool the Mega Man reveal was." I know, no, it's it's like as far as like characters who like still hadn't made it in, who like. You know, if you, it's like, okay, cool, like, you know, back in the Smash Wii U days, there wasn't necessarily a guarantee of, like, other third-party characters making it in, but as far as third-party characters who absolutely had to make it into Super Smash Brothers, like, there was just le legitimately no way they they can't be invited. Um, it was like, Mega Man, obvious, super obvious, it has to be Mega Man. <laughs> so, like, when they, when they dropped that one early in the Smash Wii U days, it was like, Holy shit. And they went hard with it. It's so hard. The music is just like on point. The visuals are amazing. Showing off all the robot masters on like the on his like internal monitor or whatever. Ah, uh, that shit's so cool. <laughs> so uh, that's actually another another instance of like, I'm not like a ginormous Mega Man fan. I've actually only played Mega Man 1. Um, believe it or not. That's the only Mega Man game I've played is the first one. I beat it. Um, it's the only game I've played in the entire series. Um, I'll get around to it. I have I have a ton of them. I have a ton of them, so I'll, I'll get around to playing them eventually. But um, yeah, no, it's just like that, that that moment's so hype, and it's like he's such an iconic character, and it's like, oh yeah, this fucking rules. <laughs> Definitely the hypest uh, Smash Brothers trailer they've ever done. Okay, very good. Oh, I love the the Team Star or not Team Star Team Team Yell and like Marnie like riffs with the guitar. I love that shit. It's so good. It's so good. Although for what it's worth, I actually think between the three like rival s characters in this game, I think Marnie's theme is kind of the the weakest of the three. I like Bait and Hop's theme more. Marnie is such a is is such a um, it's such an awkward thing because like I love Marnie. Her design is great. She's cute. She doesn't really have a whole lot of personality, and I kind of wish that I kind of wish she did more. Um, she's just I don't know. She's lacking in a lot of ways, which is sad because she is cute girl. But what you gonna do? I can, that can only carry you so far. If they don't like give you good writing. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, Stinky Web. Ah, uh, now we're good. Her personality is goth like are you saying I have no personality, Arcanine? Wow. Alright, alright. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't think that's what you're saying. But yes, her personality is goth. It's very good. It's very good. Uh Star says, what's funny is despite loving Battle Network, I'm not actually that big of a Mega Man fan. Oh, interesting. So you don't like the platformers? That that is interesting, actually. But yeah, no, I, I loved Mega Man One. I've played it. I've played it a lot. I, sometimes I just boot it up just to just to like blast through Cutman stage because it's fun. Yeah, it's a fun game. I need to get around to playing Mega Man Two. It just it's been on my like to do list for like a really long time. Just haven't gotten around to it. Yep, very good stuff. Uh, there's this, for some reason, I don't like Hop's theme at all. Marnie's theme is my favorite one. Really interesting. Fair 
fair. I mean, fair enough. To each their own, thorough. To each their own. Yeah, Marty's theme is really good for what it's worth. It's just, it's just, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad theme. I'm just saying, like, by comparison, in my opinion, I think Hop and Bades are better. Uh, Tiny Super Aqua says Pierce, uh, Pierce theme carry, team yell. Yeah, Pierce, Pierce is, is really cool. Pierce is really cool. I like him a lot. Uh, gaming says Mega Man 2 has has beast music. Dr. Wily Stage 3 is one that gets stuck in your head easily. Very nice. Well, I know that the um what what I think that most people would consider like non Mega Man fans um would consider the quote unquote Mega Man theme. That's actually just the Mega Man 2 music, right? Like it's not inherently like Mega Man generally speaking. Like the That's like Mega Man 2 specifically, right? I'm not crazy. I think that's right. I have to say, I'm not a Mega Man fan, so I actually don't know if that's true or not, but I think that's what I've come to understand. Laura says, I love Bade and Marty's theme, but not Hop. What, what is wrong with y'all? What's wrong? How y'all not like Hop's theme? It's so good. It's so, it's very, <clears throat> oh goodness gracious, excuse me. It's very like, um, I don't know. It's really jovial and like fun. I don't know. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> y'all are crazy. I like Hop's theme. But it's fine. It's fine. It's 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 a uh, it's as to each their own and all that stuff. Hold on, let me go hit up the Pokemon Center real quick. Wait, actually, that that probably just gave us a free heal, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, it did. Good. Um. All right. Well, yeah, we're off into Kabu's gym next. Very good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. Y'all. Y'all are insane. Y'all are insane. It's so it's It's really fun. It's just really festive. I really like it. I really like it. But yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, Mega Man 3 has Snake Man and Proto Man. See, I'm not familiar with either of those. Uh, as I said, not 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 played a whole lot of Mega Man. Not haven't really heard a lot of music from it either. At least like not that I like could like recognize by name. Uh, maybe I know those themes, but <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, but yeah. Anyways, let's go. Wait, actually, who do I have out front? Just make sure that we're sitting pretty here. Um. Yeah. I mean, I can probably just EQ and I resist fire, so this works. This works, this works. Uh, question they suggestion from Star. Who's the fastest rival? What do, what do you mean by fast? Like, fast at what? I, I, I'm, I'm confused, Star. I, uh, you know, I, I could I could theoretically do it, but like, what's, what, what do you, what's the context for fast? <laughs> like fast, like physically capable of moving quickly or like, like, like fastest to end their character arc or? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, let me know. SBS says Mega Man 3 has good track. I'll have to, I'll have to take a listen to the OST because yeah, I haven't. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know most Mega Man music offhand, um, unless I'm unless I'm like, um, you know, <laughs> unless it's like a really iconic Mega Man scene, like like the Mega Man 2 theme that I was just humming. But yeah. Okay, like physically fastest. Okay, interesting. Cool. Thanks, Star. <laughs> yeah, that could potentially be a future question of the day. Okay. Oh, that's right. We have to fucking... I have to beat up a bunch of wild Pokemon here instead of catching any of them. I guess I can catch them and just release them, but... Yep. I forgot about... I forgot about, forgot the gym puzzle in this one. I was ready to just jump right in onto Kabu. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, real quick, though, before I do uh, uh, jump into this, I, I want to go quickly. Uh, I've only had a single cup of coffee because I didn't have time to have my... I usually have, like, two or three before the start of stream. Um, but since I woke up late, um, I, uh, I've only had one. I'm gonna go get a quick refill and run to the restroom real fast. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on standby for just a hot second. Um, and then when I get back, we'll knock out the, we'll knock out the gym. So yeah, um, stay tuned everybody. I will be right back.
Okay, everybody, I am back. Thanks for waiting. Um, but yeah, let's jump into this gem. So yeah, we need to try and, I think, catch um, a bunch of these Pokemon. And then um, we'll release them, of course, afterwards, since they are not... Uh, they are not... Uh, things that we can use or, or encounters or anything like that so yeah we'll, we'll we'll get them we'll get them removed from the equation oh you know what though <laughs> earthquake's probably gonna kill isn't it i was thinking oh yeah i can knock out the ally or the quote-unquote ally because it's gonna try and like, kill all my shit but um no it's probably Earthquake's probably gonna kill the sizzle feed too. Well, maybe not, because bug bug resists a ground, I think, so it should be neutral. Maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Either way, I think we get a single point for knocking it out anyway, so that's fine. Oh, it lived anyways, very good. Oh hey, Yumi, you made it just in time for a little buggy. How are you doing, Yumi? Good to see you in the chat. You've you've uh you, you've missed a, a another another humming stream up till now. We've been doing lots of humming of Pokemon music. It's good stuff. If you have any requests, let me know. <laughs> I guess that's just a thing that we do here on the channel now. It's too hot and EP. Ooh, very fair. Very fair. Hot, hot and EP is a is a is a is a combo. Basically, this is ASMR stream. Oh god, I hope not. <laughs> I do not exactly have the most melodical voice ever, so probably not. Dizzy Feed? No, we don't name it. Just, just go in the box. You haven't heard any of? How has Yumi not heard any of the humming yet? We've been humming for two straight streams. <laughs> I don't know why. This is just kind of a, a thing that has has materialized out of nowhere. Yumi, I've just suddenly started like like humming a lot of Pokemon music on stream. Not just Pokemon music, I guess. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess Yeah, no, I guess you just ha happen to have not been present for it. But yeah, it's been a thing. It's definitely been a thing. I'm gonna try quick balling this, because I have some. Stay in the ball, Litwick. Oh, well, thank you, Thero. I appreciate that. That's very kind. Very kind, very kind. Okay, Litwick get and two points, I believe. Another one. Persona. I haven't played any of the Persona games, Tiny Super Rock. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could hum Persona. Um, the like the most I know of it is from like Joker from Smash. So. And I don't know if I, um, I mean, I could probably do his, like, a victory song, which I, I think is also his victory song from Persona 5. Like, I think that's, like, roughly what it's like. Right? <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember how the full melody goes, actually, but that's, 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 that's all I got. That's all I got from Persona. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, 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 did I quick ball yet? Oh shit, uh, quick ball. Maybe I already threw a quick ball, I'm not sure. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, uh, we'll pick get. Okay, mission cleared. Very good. Not too shabby. <laughs> uh, gaming says, uh, last surprise from Persona 5 is iconic, most likely because you never see it coming. I, 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 I assume this is a reference. I'm not familiar. I've never played any of the Persona games. I, I have, I've had Persona 5 on my, uh, for the, for Switch. I've had that on my Amazon wish list for a while. So, maybe eventually I'll go, I'll get to actually try it. <laughs> But I haven't, uh, I haven't, I, it hasn't been, like, super high on my, on my bucket list because I have, like, a bunch of other RPGs that are, like, way higher <laughs> that I want to play. Um, but yeah, eventually I would love to try it. I would love to try it. It is, it is, it is, uh, definitely the RPG of a generation, for sure. So, um, yeah, I'll check it out eventually. 
Yeah, I, th I think you've mentioned in the past, Laura, that you're a that you're a big Persona, at least Persona Five. Because I didn't you? I think you you suggested a nickname once that was Persona Five related for a haunch crow or something. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I uh, yeah, it's it's on the it's on the to do list. I I assure you, I assure you. Oh, what RPGs? Asked Tiny. Uh, uh, Final Fantasy for sure. I've been wanting to play the Final Fantasies like crazy. I started the first one, Final Fantasy One. Uh, I want to play more Dragon Quest games. I've only played eight, um, so definitely those are like the big RPGs that I want to play more. Uh, also, uh, a really nostalgic RPG from my childhood uh, that I used to I used to play because it was I, I used to be yeah I used to like have like this back and forth of like selling and then repurchasing it from GameStop back in the day. Uh, I used to play Wild Arms three for uh, PS two. Um, and I've never finished it. I o I would always like play a good chunk into it and then like put it down, and then uh, that's been like a trend for like the last ten years or so. <laughs> so um, I would very much like to actually like finish that game. So yeah, those are all like really high on my list to like actually finish and play. Um, so yeah, very good stuff. Um, let me get healed up, and we will take on Kabu. Here we go. Yumi says Pokemon is the only RPG that I need. <laughs> fair, very fair, very fair. Oh, Liz is here. Hello, Liz. Hope you're doing well. Yes, very good. Thoreau says, hey, Liz, have you heard of this little game called Among Us? You know what's funny, actually? Obviously, I've seen the memes and all that. I can't tell you I know really much about Among Us. <laughs> I have no idea what it's... I, I have, like, a rough idea of how it's played. I've seen, like a couple like two second clips of gameplay but like aside from that i legit don't really know a whole lot about it <laughs> which is funny because i feel like it's kind of ingrained itself in modern pop culture it's interesting rpg really uh rpg stands for really pokemon game yeah agreed Ar uh, arcanine i agree i agree all right Oh, God. Uh, hopefully y'all didn't hear that. That was really fucking loud in my head. Sorry, right, it was Nord yelling at me. Shut the, shut the fuck up, Nord. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Hopefully hopefully that wasn't super loud for y'all. Oh, the gym theme, though. The gym theme is so fucking good. Ooh, go right down, Ninetales. You'll love it. And yeah, this track is a banger, absolute banger. Uh, <laughs> funny skeleton theme is that um is that Sans Undertale, Mr. Sans Undertale, Megalovania. Um, I know Megalovania. I've never played Undertale, but I know Megalovania. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. I have to know this song. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's hard while I have the gym music playing in my ears. <laughs> That's that's how it goes, right? <laughs> God, I'm stuck against like myself. I think that's it. I think that's Mr. Sand. Yeah, Mr. Sand's Undertales. Yes, exactly. Mia says that song of storms. Don't fucking gaslight me, SPS. <laughs> it's not song of storms. <laughs> That's funny. I should probably get around to playing that too. I, I have still not played Undertale or Delta Rune. Not play, played either of those games. I have I have my fucking uh, my like backlog is massive, absolutely massive for like iconic games that I need to play that I still haven't played for some reason. Oh damn! I don't know if that is that the, really the burn that killed me that badly, or does Arcanine just even Earthquake really well? Thero says, despite not liking this game a lot, this gym theme goes hard, and I love the vibe from challenging the gyms. I know, yeah, it is really, it is a really good vibe. Okay, let's, uh, let's drop a burn heal real fast. Alright, Pain, I need you to actually land the Earthquake this time, because I want to see if if I can kill from here now that I don't, now that I'm not burned. That freaking hustle is really, really getting my goat. 
course, you're gonna just immediately Willow again. Can I at least land? Thank you. Yumi says, speaking of Megalovania, I just shared something in the meme channel. We'll have to take a look. For those of you who haven't already, make sure to check out the Forever Lock Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat if you want to check that out and join the community. Um, but yeah, let me look. Oh, the memes. Miscellaneous memes. Ooh, okay, cool. I'll have to, I'll have to, I can't really listen to that while I'm streaming, but I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. Um, I'll have to check it out after stream. Thanks for sharing, Yumi. <laughs> very good, very good. Thank you, Yubi. Thank you for, for posting that. Okay, let's finish off this Arcanine. Yeah, hustle is high risk, high reward. Yeah, I just honestly, I don't know. I don't know if um if uh, Dracozolt gets a different ability, but um, if it if it had the opportunity to get another ability, I would have very much preferred it because I hate hustle. I hate hustle and a Nuzlocke. It's so fucking obnoxious. Surf. Uh, yeah, I'll take that over Water Pulse for sure. Yumi says, I've successfully used Hustle with two Pokemon, Durant with Home Claws and Delibird with Aerial Ace. Ooh, very valid. Very valid. Yeah, I can see Aerial Ace being pretty pretty handy. Pretty handy there. I should see if uh, if I can get Aerial Ace on Pain. That'd be a pretty good combo. It'll take full advantage of the of the uh, up to attack. Um, yeah, not not a bad idea. Okay, Senta Scorch is coming out. Um, what is my game plan for you? I wish I had a rock move. Uh, but I don't. Um, I guess I could go for Surf. Or I guess, like, more realistically, like, Gigantamax. I guess we'll go with that. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Slow Queen out to take another Gym Leader down. Oh, I could add Volt Absorb. That would have been way better. Dang. Oh, well. <laughs> It do be that way sometimes. Yeah, hustle hustle's frustrating, especially if you ever get it on like the Togepi, like the Heart Gold Soul Silver uh, Togepi. That's rough. That's really, really rough to like go through and try and use Togepi with Hustle. Feels really bad because it already doesn't hit very hard on its own. Um, and then on top of that, you're like missing half the time. It's like the buff only just makes it like slightly hit a little bit harder. It's, like, not even that great. Yeah, this song. Yeah, exactly, Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about this. This is the... In my opinion, this is the better version of the of, of what Scarlet and Violet does when they terrestrialize. This is the superior version. But the chant... Like, the, the, the crowd chanting and all that stuff, it's good stuff. Yep. It's a good song. It's a good song. The best songs in Sword and Shield are probably um, like the standard gym theme, this theme, um, Pop's theme, Bade's theme, Marnie's theme, um, and I guess the 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 what the fuck's it called the the Battle Tower theme is decent. It's not. I think that it's honestly a little overrated, but <laughs> it's decent. It's decent. Yeah, those are probably the best the best tracks in this game, I think. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Am I? I don't think so. I don't think so. That all sounds right to me in my head. I don't know, Metronome only runs can be kind of fun for what it's worth gaming. Metronome only runs can be really fun. Alright, get him with the Max Geyser. Not too shabby. And we'll hit a little bit harder next time, thanks to the rain. I hope. This depends on what he does. Going for G Max sent to I actually don't know if that puts up the sun or not. I don't think it does. Ooh, haha! -ha, didn't even do the third turn. Let's go. Sorry, Santa Scorch. It's 
skateboard down the G-Max at Discord. He does kind of look like a skate park or something. <laughs> Beautiful. We crushing it, chat. We crushing it. Does it leave? Does it? Yeah, I, I I can never remember what any of the like the G Max exclusive moves do. If I'm being perfectly honest, I have no idea what it does. Nope. Sorry, symbol. You are just baby monkey. The the raid really adds to the defeat. I know. Yeah, we crushed him. We crushed him. Oh, does it set up fire spin? Is that what it is? Okay, that would make sense. That would make sense. That would make sense. Wait, are you sure that's not the? Are you sure that's not the Cinderace one? No, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been forever. At one point, I feel like I looked all of them up, and then I was like, okay, that's what that does. But I, it's been so long now. I just don't. I just don't. I can't remember. Oh, is it Charizard? Yeah. See. There's a lot of, I didn't even realize, there's a lot of Gigantamax that are fire types, huh? Yeah, very interesting. But yes, that's three gyms. Oh, I gotta add, I gotta add the gym badge to the layout. Hold up. Hold up. Add. Acquire gym badge. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, now we now we're sitting pretty. Three badges on the layout. Moving right along. There's a fire field effect. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Thoreau. I don't know. <laughs> and then forget them the next day exactly. Okay. So, yeah, no, I guess uh, at this point we start making our way towards, um, I guess we have, we're going to have to, like, trek a little bit ways our way, a, a little ways through the wild area to start the next, like, part of the circuit, I suppose. Oh, God, I feel a sneeze. Hold on. Nope. Nope. Oh, God. I Don't you hate it when you know it's, like, coming, but it won't come out? Ah, nope, it's not, it won't, it's not showing up. It's gonna show up at like a random time in like a few minutes, I guarantee it. <laughs> okay, we'll just keep powering through for now. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. You know what is kind of disappointing about Sword and Shield's OST? Uh, honestly, I feel like the, 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 the town themes really aren't doing it for me in this generation. So this, they range from like, okay, to like, really really forgettable <laughs> you know what i mean um i don't know it just uh, they're just not doing it for me this one's okay incidentally the motostoke theme it's okay it's okay um hullberry is okay um uh, turfield i don't even remember what, the, what it sounds like to be honest <laughs> yeah i don't know the town music definitely uh leaves a lot of uh a room for desire Uh, Yumi says, okay, so Centiscorp traps the opponent like fire spin, but does, doesn't do damage, and Charizard deals damage, but doesn't trap. Oh, okay, interesting. So it's kind of splits the splits the fire spin mechanic in half between the two of them. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting. Uh, Thor says, I agree. I hear them, and I'm like, these are kind of boring. I, I, I wouldn't say they're boring boring per se it's just that i don't know like they don't stand out in my mind like they definitely don't like get like embedded in my memory like a lot of other tracks do you know it's uh it's tricky uh g max cop uh is steel steel stuff steel stealth rocks Ooh, very cool yeah i like that i like that that sounds awesome Uh, SPS is unrelated, but I'm playing, uh, oh god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try here. I, Iudin? Iudin Chronicle, and I just reunited Schwarzenegger, uh, if he was a mage. Oh, interesting. Like, as in, like, Arnold? <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope you're having a good time with it. That's like an RPG, I assume, right? Like, some sort of RPG, JRPG kind of, kind of dealio. You play those a lot, I've noticed, which is really cool. 
Um, Sensiferno is a fun name. I agree with me. It's a, it's a, it's a cute name for uh, for the G Max move. G Max Sensiferno, as opposed to a standard Sensiferno. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh god, there's so many things to avoid. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we are good. We are good. God, I've, I, I've been doing a lot of like the living deck stuff lately in my own in my own time, and God, I am so sick of being in this general area. Because <laughs> uh, you spend when you're making living decks, there's a lot of breeding involved, obviously, and um, you just fucking cycle back and forth in front of this damn um, nursery over there. Um, for like hours, <laughs> so that's uh, as far as the the Galar portions of my uh, of my living decks projects have gone. That's been what this is. That's been my sorted shield experience as of late. Is hanging out right in that little that little section there. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm actually almost done with that portion, so that's good. Bolting Blazy, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Blaze said I just saw an Uber uh, an Uber Eats ad on the channel and the guy just ate a banana without even peeling it. Like, wow, oh my god. That sounds disgusting. I don't even like bananas when they're peeled. <laughs> Let alone with the actual like banana peel on them. Gross. Okay. Make our way over to Hammerlock. I forgot that there's like a bunch of plot shit we gotta do, huh? Before we can actually go on go to Stow on side. Bummer. Bummer. Uh, Thur says, uh, someone thought of a fairy type spike slash stealth rocks uh, where they place Legos on the field. <laughs> no, that's terrible. <laughs> how awful, how awful. Arcanine says, uh, we don't have Uber here in Iceland. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Arcanine, uh, I wanted to ask you. I saw a video recently. I don't remember what video or, like, even what the context was. But the video said that, um, that, like, uh, like, foreigners in, like, visiting Iceland is, like, really, really rare. I wanted to ask you if that's true. Like, can, can, um, can non-Icelandic -Ice people come to Iceland, like, and, like, live there? Or is that, like, not a thing? Uh, I, that's what that's what the video I, I saw had said, and then again, I don't know if it was true, and I didn't want to I didn't want to take it at face value because it might not be true. And I knew and I knew someone from Iceland, so I was like, I had to I knew I had to ask you, yeah, is it true that that foreigners can't can't come live in Iceland? Let me know. I'm curious. <laughs> you uh, you says Uber Eats is when you feed your legendary a sandwich or curry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. That's funny. <laughs> That's a competitive joke. Ha 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 ha. It's not that common, but I think it's allowed. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I'll, I was I was wondering about it because yeah, it was uh, the video I watched had said something to the effect of like basically um, the that the Icelandic government is like really like kind of stingy about who is like living there. Like like they're very very um they're very conservative about like. I guess like not introducing too many like outside elements, or at least according to the video that I watched. Again, I don't know how how but how true it was or not, but yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I was just curious about it. I was just curious about it. That's that's interesting though. Um. Okay. Cool. So yeah, we made it to Motostoke. We're looking good. Or not Motostoke. Uh, Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Uh, let's go talk to Mr. Rose and all them. SBS says, how on earth did we not get a Gargoyle? Oh, they still haven't done a Gargoyle Pokemon. It would be so cool. It'd be so cool. I agree, SBS. They could make it like a dark and dark and rock type. Oh, that would be so cool. That'd be so fucking cool. Me, I would love it if it was like low-key, basically like the old Gargoyles cartoon. Like do something like that. That'd be so fucking cool. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Or I guess it could be like rock flying if you want to like incorporate the wings as like a part of its like thing. But yeah, no, that would be so cool, SBS. They should absolutely make a gargoyle Pokemon. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, someday soon. Someday soon. Maybe we'll get one. Maybe we'll get like a regional variant or something in um, Legend ZA. Oh, actually, chat. Do y'all think we'll get regional variants in in Legend ZA? 
So far, we haven't had a single Pokemon game come out since, um, since, uh, uh, freaking, uh, Sun and Moon, right? Aside from Let's Go, I guess. Le so, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee have been the only Pokemon games to not introduce new regional variants since regional variants have been introduced. So, like, I'm wondering if we'll get one for ZA or not, because it's like, it's not like a new region. <laughs> So it's like, I don't know, like, why wouldn't there have been, like, Kalosian or whatever, Kalosian re regional variants before, but there is now. Um, I guess they could come up with a reason, but yeah. I'm wondering, like, do y'all think we'll get them? We got so few of them in, um, in, uh, Scarlet and Violet that I'm almost wondering if they're kind of, like, gonna retire the concept soon. Like, maybe they've been working their way down to, like, not doing it as much anymore. Oh, yeah, BDSP as well. You're right, uh, Tiny Super Aqua. Yeah, BDSP. Yeah, the, the 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 weird like like super super hard remakes, <laughs> like where they're like very much the original games, um, just with a lick of polish. Uh, but yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Those 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 games. But yeah, all the all the new content has had regional variants though, for sure. I guess that's another question we have to wonder is like, I wonder if it's even going to be called Kalos in, um, in Legend ZA, maybe. Cause we, again, we don't know the story yet. We don't even know if it's going to be set in the past yet. <laughs> we don't know if it's going to be set in the past, modern day, future. We have not, we have not, we do not have enough information to say that conclusively. I know a lot of people have been drawing like art and stuff of like, oh, it's, it's past because like, again, Pokemon fans are excellent at, at extrapolating data off of a pattern of one. But <laughs> um, there is no conclusive evidence. And I would argue that there's more evidence that it's not set in the past than that it, there is that it will be set in the past. Because um, one the, the, there were baseball caps in the in the trailer. There's people walking on the street that are wearing like modern day looking baseball caps. So that feels weird if it's in the past and they have and they have like modern headwear. <laughs> but, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting. I'm, I'll be very curious to see what they do with it. But yeah, I was just wondering like if there'd be regional variants or not. That'd be kind of wild. Wait, what? I don't need to heal. What am I doing? Okay. Gaming says, when, uh, when do we uh, when do we get the black, white, black two, white two remakes? I would. I do hope that that's a thing. Wait, hold on. Where am I going? Oh, go meet Raihan in the vault. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Got ahead of myself. Hi, Raihan. Just walked right past you, didn't I? Very nice. Tiny Super Rock says me and my friend are praying for Mega Incineroar. Uh, for haha -ha funny. That would be kind of funny. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard that Incineroar tears things up in competitive. He's also really fucking annoying to fight in Smash. <laughs> for what it's worth, I know he's not like high tier or anything like that, but I hate fighting Incineroar online. It's so obnoxious. Granted, I'm also a very, like, uh, aggro kind of player in Smash, and Incineroar punishes aggro really, really, really well. <laughs> so that's probably part of the problem. Uh, Yumi says Gen 6 is Hoopa, right? Maybe it's just an alternate dimension rather than a different time. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. We really have no fucking way of knowing for sure. It's kind of wild. Oh yeah, Incineroar is like your secondary, right, Thoreau? Like uh, uh, Ryu and Incineroar, those are your those are your folks. Yeah, very good stuff. Yeah, Incineroar is tough for me. Incineroar is tough for me. Got the the the, the freaking counter and the and the um and the the grappling and all that stuff. It's uh it's rough for me. It's it's rough when I'm when I'm playing like especially if I'm playing like Me Brawler, which is one of my one of my pocket mains. Um, yeah, it's a bad time. It's a bad time. My Me Brawler versus Incineroar is such a bad, bad matchup. <laughs> I feel like every time I bring my Me Brawler on, uh, on the quick play, I always fight an Incineroar as well. It's just, I, I have like the, the standard lids luck whenever I play quick play Smash online. It's rough. <laughs> Uh, Venicel says, doesn't the reveal have Ka uh, Kalos Virtual Planner VR thing? I mean, it is very stylistically, yeah, it is, that does look kind of VR-esque. I mean, it could have just been a stylistic thing, though, like, for, for our benefit. It's not, it, it, it isn't necessarily, like, indicative of, like, something that's actually happening in, like, in-universe. 
That could have just been for, like, you know, a visual flair for us. But I agree, Vinicel. If you take it at face value, you could interpret it as, like, oh, yeah, like, someone is using, like, high-tech stuff to, like, you know, uh, plan out the city uh, renovations or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's possible. It's possible. That, yeah, if it was set in the future, that would be kind of wild. That would be kind of wild. Can we trademark Lid's Luck? I don't know if we could trademark it, but we can definitely coin it. We can definitely coin it as like a thing. Be like, oh, you ha you having you having some rough rough luck, rough luck out there? Well, then you you're experiencing the li the Lid's Luck. <laughs> it's basically that old that old uh, that old expression. The like, if if uh, if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. That's Lid's Luck right there. That's like the 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 general explanation of the the Lid's Luck. <laughs> Very good. Um, okay, cool. Let's carry on. Venice says the description of ZA mentions that it focuses on Lumio City's urban redevelopment plan. Yeah, but like that could mean. I mean, I agree. Like that does seem to imply like modern, but that could be like modern in the context of the time period, right? So, for example, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's like um, that it's set in the past, because uh, that, that what would be urban at in the past would basically be like whatever is like the most you know highly developed at the time right like it's it's all relative relatively speaking so um yeah if if they say oh yeah it's the urban redevelopment plan but it's like the you know the 1890s or whatever then basically like a modern looking a modern looking city in the 1890s would have been like you know victorian london <laughs> so you know what i mean so it's like yeah it's 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 all it all very much depends on you know basically uh, like what I said before is um exa exactly thorough yeah like the Arceus is was urban compared to the like little towns and villages exactly yeah uh, it, it's all it's all relative um but yeah I, I, there's just not enough evidence right now to suggest one way or the other what time period it's gonna genuinely take take place and we just don't know we just don't know I'm currently leaning towards it taking place like in a more modern setting though that is that is my take. That is my takeaway. I, I, what I actually would like for it to be, um, I want it to be set after X and Y, um, so like slightly in the future compared to X and Y, uh, but not like so far in the future that there's like a bunch of high tech. I actually just kind of want it to low key be a sequel to X and Y, <laughs> um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I hope we hear about it, like, somewhat soon. I don't need it to be, like, immediate since it is going to take so long, but supposedly we're going to have a Nintendo Direct next month, so maybe we'll see it there. That'd be cool. A uh, highlighted message from Arcanine says, Here's something funny I found. Apparently the British supermarket named Iceland tried to sue the country Iceland over the trademark, so they lost that. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? I'm pretty sure Iceland coined it first. <laughs> That's silly. You silly Brits. You silly Brits. You can't do that. Uh, Yumi says alternate reality where the ultimate weapon landed on landed on Lumios. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but like they could. Uh, th that's another thing that I feel like a lot of people uh, haven't considered is like, what if it instead of being set in a like weird time period, what if it's set in like yeah, as you say, like a weird alternate reality? Because I mean. Gen 6 was where they started, like, going crazy with the alternate reality stuff. So, um, like, multiverse and all that. They could very well take that angle. Um, absolutely. I didn't see what was coming out. Uh, Flumbus. Flumbus, come out. As long as it's not fighting, we should be good. Vinicius says, why did I think I heard it, uh, heard it was being planned by, uh, Clement, or whatever the name of the Lumia Sinus gym leader is. Yeah, it's Clement, um... Yeah, no, it, um, I don't know where you heard that, because, yeah, that's, I think, if anything, that must be a theory, because, yeah, there has been, we have absolutely no confirmation of any returning characters at this point. Um, it'd be cool if we had some, but there's absolutely no, there's no evidence. There is no evidence whatsoever. The only thing we know for sure is that Prism Tower is, is still there, and granted, Prism Tower in X and Y is stated to have been, like, you know, like the reason it's all like glowy and cool looking is because of Clement, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he built it. It just means that he modified it. Um, so it could have been there before Clement like added all the like the lights and stuff. So you know, <laughs> um, we'll see though. We'll see. 
Thor says, here's an out of left field theory. Uh, what if the Kalos uh, we are playing is from the same dimension as the Rainbow Rock Lysander, uh, where he actually, or Rainbow Rocket Lysander, where he actually destroyed Kalos? You heard it here first. That would be really cool. I would love if they, if they like, retouched back up on uh, Rainbow Rocket lore. That would be kind of fun. That would be kind of fun. Although it doesn't exactly bode well for that, for the end of that game, <laughs> if that were the case, but because the whole, the whole premise of the Rainbow Rocket leaders is that they're, they're all from dimensions where they actually accomplished their goals. So presumably that Lysander is from a dimension where he actually killed every human being on the planet, which is nice and chipper. <laughs> it's nice, nice and upbeat, jovial plot point from your wholesome Pokemon family game. <laughs> And mind you, that includes Team Flare because uh, the the truth of the matter was that he was going to betray them at the end. So basically, it's from a it's it, it's he would be the only living human being left. <laughs> so that's fun. Okay, get him with the earthquake pain. Thank you. They're not dead. They're just asleep. Yeah. All right. They're they're asleep. They're asleep. They just they got shot with sleep lasers. <laughs> They got, they got, they got, that's what happens when you get shot by the ultimate weapon. Just sleep, la sleep lasers. That's all it is. You just go to sleep. You just stay asleep for two to five turns. <laughs> yeah, they all became sleeping beauties. Yeah, it's perfect. It works with Lysander sleeping. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, it depends on if it's Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon Lysander, though, right? Uh, I don't think so. I, I, aren't they both the same lore? I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe there was a difference. No, I don't think so, Yumi. No, um, no, no. You're, you're, uh, you're. I think you're mixing up the, um, you're mixing up what, what the, what the weapon actually does versus what his goal was. His goal in both X and Y is to, uh, is to kill everybody. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's very much, his, his goal is very much to kill everybody. Basically, the, the difference between the X and Y as far as, like, immortality goes is in X, he accidentally makes himself and, and everybody else in the vicinity immortal. Um, and, yeah, versus Y where he would have killed everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, uh, that's, that's the difference there. Uh, but no, his, his goal in, in both games was to use the ultimate weapon to kill everybody in the world. Um, because nobody is beautiful enough to exist anymore <laughs> so yeah no that, that that's very much still his his uh his intent in both games so yeah yep very good very good also hop emotional moment very good it's very brief but i do like hops development in this game i wish it had more time yeah it's a very very weird game x and y weird game yeah, I'm hoping we, uh, that's another reason that I kind of want it to be an X and Y follow-up is because we could potentially get, like, a little bit more, um, depth to some of the plot points there. Maybe make us care about some of its characters a little bit more. That'd be really nice. Yep, we will see. We will see. What's to get rid of pretty privilege by killing everyone? Exactly. No, yeah, no, no, no one can, no one can have pretty privilege if, if there is nobody. <laughs> if, if, if nobody exists. Hold on, did I get a heal? No, okay, hold on. Let me stop by the Pokemon Center before we before we uh before we pop on through. I think what we'll do is we'll get get ourselves over to Still on side, and that's probably what, where we'll end up end things off for today. I think that sounds reasonable. Oh, I guess I also will mention, um, and I wanted to I actually wanted to brainstorm a little bit with y'all. What should I do for tomorrow, chat? Tomorrow is the third year anniversary of the forever lock challenge and i still have no fucking clue what like what i should do to like celebrate <laughs> i was thinking maybe of just doing like a vibe stream like where we all just get together and, and just kind of chit chat for a little while but like i don't i don't know if that's like enough or like important enough i don't know like do y'all have any ideas <laughs> i'm so woefully unprepared for the anniversary this year the last two years i did something fancy but i uh yeah this year this year i have no fucking clue <laughs> I could just do a normal Forever Lock stream and just like have a bonus one this, you know, this week. 
compared to what we've been doing. But like, I don't know. I feel so like, I don't know. Like it's not enough, you know? <laughs> yeah, I am, I am open to suggestions though. Okay. Route six, baby. This is a nice route. I like this route. One of the better routes in the game. Okay, very good. A full hum stream. Uh, maybe. <laughs> we could definitely, could definitely, um, goof, goof around with it. Um, for sure. Gaming says do a, a metronome only stream, not counting uh, the deaths to your forever lock. Oh yeah, like like do it like a start a fresh playthrough of metronome stuff. Maybe, maybe. Not a terrible idea. I haven't done a metronome run in a while. Uh, okay, vice grip. Get him, double decker. Are gonna insist that they won't be able to make it. No worries. Like I said, I don't even know if I'm gonna do anything to be honest. Like I don't know. <laughs> Is is the third is the third year anniversary the anniversary where I just kind of like stop doing special things for it or I don't know <laughs> I don't know I don't know if I had more time in advance I probably would have like thought of something more clever like I don't know like like putting together like a playlist and like watching like old forever locks or something like that I thought about still trying to make that happen but like I just don't really know I don't know <laughs> I'm all over the place I'm just my headspace has not been like as um how to phrase it like it hasn't been as like consistently like able to like think about content creation as much lately so yeah i'm just kind of y'all get it y'all get it what with my absences and stuff y'all y'all know what i'm about at this point still love doing this though still love streaming and and doing this stuff with y'all but yeah i've just been in a bit of a slump Throw. So I, I say don't stress about it too much and take uh, take it easy this time. Yeah, yeah. I I think ultimately that's probably like the best uh, the best way to do it. Uh, Ubis is reacting to the death compilation. Yeah, I mean we definitely could. Um, I need to I need to I need to get a hold of Soul and, and get that link again. Um. And, uh, and uh, I don't know, like, take a look. Because, I, I, I'm, again, I'm still unsure if they actually, like, clipped the uh, the deaths or not. Or if it, or if they just, like, time-stamped them. Um, which, I guess, either way would be fine. But, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Speaking of metronome. Ulti attack? Isn't that type null's attack? Okay. That's weird. <laughs> Very awkward. Ooh, you're kind of, you kind of, kind of strong though. Kind of strong though. Here, let me go out to. Uh, what do I have here? Do I have? I have Iron Tail on Plumbus. That'll work. Stop using Metronome. It makes me nervous. Guard. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why Vice Grip attacks from behind. It's a really interesting looking animation for sure. Arcanist says make an Autono fursuit. I don't know about a fursuit, but I do have an Autono onesie. I do have an Autono onesie. I wore it on stream once. Grazzy Glide? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even, I didn't know they mixed the um the DLC moves into into the metronome pool. That's interesting. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here, Clefable. I'm done with you. Woodhammer. Wow, Woodhammer. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's fun. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it over. I'll take it over Screech at this point. Probably. Yeah. Why not? That sounds funny. Gaming says, so far, no explosion or self-destruct with the metronomes you faced. You're in luck. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness. Oh, God. Okay, well. <laughs> Accidentally ran into the Yamask. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, not, not worried about any encounters here. We're, we're pretty limited on encounters we actually care about. Actually, we are approaching one, though. Um, as soon as we can get to the Glumwood Tangle, we gotta we gotta look out for that uh, Ponyta. Hopefully we can get it, because I know that, I think we also need Sinisty right now, because we lost one in uh, Scarlet and Violet. Um, but, um, yeah, if we could, if we could get the, 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 the Ponyta, that'd be great, because we really need the Ponyta. <laughs> Real bad. Um, actually, yeah, that's the queen is fine. Okay. Keep on, keep on trucking here. No, I'd like to avoid double battles. I don't want to fight you guys. I don't want to fight you guys. I actually just kind of want to make it over to Stow Inside already. Uh, Vincela says, I thought it was weird how they used an S instead of the C in Vice Crypt. I guess it was only changed in Gen 8. Yeah, yeah, I've mentioned this on stream before, actually. Um... It was it was changed the spelling because it was actually the wrong it was the wrong use of vice <laughs> the entire time the the v i c e is like it's it's the spelling that you do for um for like if you're like the like, like second basically second in command or whatever or like it, it's yeah so it's spelled like like vice president for example um that's the spelling for that uh, as opposed to the the spelling for v i s e which is to say a a thing that's used to like grip things like it's a <laughs> so basically it was always wrong that's 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 the the takeaway it was it was always wrong with the c where the fuck do i go like actually though um how do i get over there I don't want to be up here by Carolus. I'm so confused. <laughs> I must have to go a second way. Let's take this other ladder over here, probably. Can I avoid you, though? Oh, that stupid Helioptile's in my way. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, sweet. We made it. Let's go. Oh, is it? Oh, do they spell? Uh, do they spell vice uh, as in like the the grippy thing? Do, do they? Uh, do they spell it with a with a C there? Are you sure, Yumi? I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. But this is uh, looking at Boltpedia. It says they use the Commonwealth English spelling before switching to the Americanized English spelling in Gen A. Oh, okay. I don't know if I knew that. That's interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. Okay, yeah, I guess I guess Yumi's right. Wild. Well, I learned something new today. It, I guess it brings it in line with the rest of like the other spellings in this game, though, for what it's worth. Because <laughs> it, it is, uh, for what it's worth, the Amer the American has been the default in Pokemon for a while, with Vice Grip being a weird exception. So. How, fu how funny that they would swap away from the British one in the British game. <laughs> so yeah, wild. Okay, give him another one, slow clean. Ow. Easy, Arcanine, easy. <laughs> okay, pseudo wudo down. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess I gotta figure something out, though. Um, but what I can say is that I will... Um, things I know for sure about tomorrow's stream. Uh, there will be a stream, one. Uh, just because, you know, I, I gotta do I gotta do something. It's, it's the freaking anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> it's the anniversary of three years. Three years of forever lot goodness. So yeah, I have to I have to do something. Um I guess I'll wing it. <laughs> we will we will figure it out. Um but yeah, maybe maybe it'll just be a vibe stream. Maybe I'll like shiny hunt or something. Um I don't know. <laughs> but um yeah, there will be a stream. It will be at the usual time, one PM Pacific time. I'll I'll think on it today and we'll figure it out. Um I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe we can do, um, maybe we can do, like, some of those, like, little puzzles that I like to do, the little, like, uh, what, what do these four Pokemon have in common kind of things. I could break, I have, I have a few of those that I never actually wound up putting on the, on the Discord server, so maybe I could break a couple of those out. Um, 
but yeah, so um, I think this is where I'm going to go ahead and end off on today's stream, though, in any case. Um, so yeah, it'll be, yeah, stream stream tomorrow, um, and then also stream Wednesday, as as usual. Um, so yeah, uh, lots, of, lots of content to look forward to this week, which is nice. Um, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, I was 19 when it started, I'm 19 now, 19 plus 3 equals 19, star. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, very good. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thanks everybody for coming. Lots of fun today. Lots of lots of fun chatting. Lots of fun doing little little hummy hummy bits. Any anything y'all want me to hum before we before we end things out? I guess, I don't know why it's kind of kind of becoming an, an endearing uh, endearing new tradition. <laughs> well, what should I hum on the way out, chat? Give me give me your best suggestion. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. And yeah, I'll, I'll come up with something again. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what what uh, what I want to do tomorrow. But yeah, the outro, the outro screen. I mean, it's just the Burbank music again. <laughs> do 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 all right, cool. <laughs> that works for me. And then now we'll transition to the actual song on, on the outro. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.